So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in net space user space administrator space full slash active colon yes and click on enter. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search again and type in task manager. Click on it. Now once you open up task manager, you just wanna close it again. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search again and type in system configuration. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on the boot tab. And then you wanna select safe boot. And then click on okay. Make sure that you have your files and programs all saved because now we're gonna be restarting our computer. So you wanna click on restart. Wait for this to load. And then once you're in safe mode, you wanna right click on the Windows start icon and then click on shut down or sign out and then click on sign out. Wait for this to load. And then once we're here, you wanna select the administrator account that we just created and then click on sign in. Wait for this to load. I'm just gonna skip past all of this. And then once we're here, you wanna click on file explorer in the bottom left or you could just search for it. And then once you're in file explorer, you wanna click on view and then click on options and now this will come up. Now you wanna click on the view tab and then click on show hidden files, folders and drives, select this right here and then click on okay. And then once you've done that on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and click on this PC. And now you wanna click on the drive where you have Windows installed on. For me, it's gonna be my C drive. You wanna double click on your drive and then click on users and then click on your username and then click on the app data folder and then click on local and now this will come up. And now once we're here, you wanna double click on the packages folder. And now you wanna look for microsoft.windows.shell experience host. You wanna scroll down till we find microsoft.windows.shell experience host. It's gonna have some letters at the end of it as well. Now once you find this, you wanna right click on it and then click on rename. Now at the end, we're gonna add a dot and then you wanna type in BAK, all in capitals. So you want to rename it, at the end you want to put a dot and then type in BAK and then click on enter. And then once you've done that, we're just going to close out of this. And now you want to click on Windows R on your keyboard, which will then bring up the ROM box, or you could just search for it. And then once you're in the ROM box, you want to type in MS config, click on enter. And now this will come up. Now you want to click on the boot tab. Now you want to untick safe boot and then click on OK and then click on restart. Wait for this to load. And then once you're back in Windows, this will probably come up. You're just gonna skip past all of this. Just gonna fast forward the video. And now we're gonna be here. We're gonna be signed into the administrator account by default. We wanna go back to our other account. So you wanna right click on the Windows start icon and then click on shut down or sign out. And then click on sign out. Click on this. Now we're gonna go back to our original account. Click on sign in. Wait for this to load. And now, once you're back on our original account, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator and then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in net space user space administrator space full slash active colon no. Click on enter. Now you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 